This beautiful soul, welcome into this blog for people that like entertaining tarot card re um, readings. This one is specifically for Zodiac Sin, Ken Syrian. Thanks for tuning in and I hope all is well with you. Let us get started. On the bottom of the deck here we have the world card. There is some success coming into your life as it relates to love. Alright, success and I feel you're about to burst with happiness and joy. This is something that you've been waiting for and it feels really good um re like a reuniting of um a love because that song came and it's gonna feel so good it's also you closing a chapter and that feels really good to have everything settled everything over with everything signed and sealed and onto the new some of you you're traveling with the world card traveling right for real i feel like traveling on a plane somewhere new maybe um pregnant or someone is thinking of getting you pregnant the first card is the eight of diamonds so i feel confidence around you because you've been working on yourself financially um spiritually energetically you've been working on you and there's someone that um is online somehow that is interested in you like yes i was getting that while shuffling Someone is someone online what are watching you online is really into you for real the, the three of diamonds and the ace of cups someone that like admires you they just see you as uniquely you this person could be wealthy um but they're just really like into you especially okay i'm telling you someone special is eyeing you out yeah the a the queen of diamonds someone is seeing that you are someone great here and purposeful you are also aligned someone is feeling like you are magnificent someone is feeling like you are what they are looking for right someone is seeing you as so beautiful and attractive soulmate someone is feeling like someone wants to read to you or read a book to you or read with you or maybe you're meeting someone in a library or reading. It has something to do with reading, writing, and telling the truth, having faith, and doing something that not a lot of people can do. Right? Soulmate card. This person, you could have gone to school with them because there's something about you being around them for a long time, in essence. Okay? I'm also seeing you have a spiritual guide that is a cat. Oh my god because i have a painting of a cat that i did and her well i don't know it's it's job ones is chiseled just like this but then look at the queen of wands she has like a, a black cat right here too so you're very misty mystic mis, mysterious <laughs> you're a mystery to this person like rare like sultry mysterious um charming there's just something ooh about you you know this person is just so into all of that sauce. It's that vibration. Whatever you are giving, see, someone is just all into your energy. Someone just really loves it a lot here. Someone may be feeling like if you want to put a, like if you want to put them under a spell, yeah, you can. Something like that. Someone wants to. Someone is saying whatever potion you got, whatever you are dealing with, I. Just do it like I, I volunteer. I'm willing. I'm up for it. Someone wants that. Someone wants to be under your control. Um, you may be really powerful. You're very beautiful, dominant, regal. You're you're a boss too. You give this boss energy, and someone wants to. Someone wants you to be their boss. You know that someone likes that energy about you. Strong Leo energy too. Someone wants to lead you or. Someone wants you to take the lead. Someone likes that domineering energy that you have. <laughs> For some of you, someone wants to break that energy. And um, because you are, like, there's someone that you are making, like, so passionate about you. It's like, cause, because you're holding back. All right, let's say this is, the, uh, how can I say this clearly? There's something about the confusion, insecurities. But all right, let's say um, this you're just you're just one of the strongest woman woman he's seen. For example, um, you're t you're like uh, just playing with his with his energy for some reason, and 
you know, he wants to conquer that strength, that fire, that passion in you. Uh, because right now it's like you are all over his mind or you you seem to be in control. That's what he's saying. And he's like irked about it because I feel normally this person, he or she, you know, let the genders apply. This person, they want to call you. They've been waiting to call you. Normally this person likes being in control or they don't normally feel so unbridled by someone you've gotten up underneath someone's skin all right yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so let's see what your next card is oh my gosh the strength card for real so <laughs> something about a curse with the strength card you are magnificent all right, you are very powerful. You are. You may look some type of exotic, or, or you know, um, there's just something about you that someone, this person, they're trying to put their finger on it, figure you out, what's going on in your mind, how you're feeling, because you may be playing hard to get is what I, what this person is feeling like, but they feel like you're still in their energy. They want just, they want to get your attention. It's like the lion. The lion is playing with the lion, right? And the lion gets a little bit annoyed about it and gets more determined. That's the energy. Um, so someone may be playing right now in your love energy. There's someone that is also trying to get your attention, but I'm not sure if this, maybe, I don't know if there's someone you're not interested in that is trying to get your attention or it's the other way around. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. I hear luck. Ten of Swords. Someone trying to call you also. Someone is really thinking about you a lot. Someone missing you. You're all, always on my mind. That song. Always. So yeah. Someone feel like they cannot get a hold of you. Someone is feeling like you've distanced yourself from them. You've let go. Wow, the chariot. You've really made major shifts in your life. And you're right. You're one. Your person is showing up. The chariot is my the one card. This is your angel. This is your person coming up. For some of you, there is a past person that took you for granted with this victim card. And I feel now that you've stepped into some power, they're recognizing a greatness about you. Greatness. Someone thought that you were weak. You know why? Because you were so great and beautiful and you're just... um. You're, you're astoundingly beautiful, like your features, your beautiful features stand out. You were like obviously beautiful, attractive, a great presence, but you were so sweet and really genuinely kind. So this person, they thought that there must be something off with you. So know that you're really embracing that goddess energy. They are like, whoa, that's the energy. They, and they feel like they cannot take you for a victim anymore, but this particular past person they really want to come back around and somehow like see if they can conquer this this energy that you seem to be rocking so well but they cannot figure you out and it's making you all the more alluring right they're pulling more into you because of that and there's something so magical about you for real quest okay this person now they're feeling like they want some answers they want know they're going to be digging deeper, trying to find out more about you because they're like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> you are like a goddess from Egypt, someone so regal and mysterious that this person feel like they must have unlocked some code or something. And you're I hear intrinsic and you're just naturally beautiful, so naturally high spirited. You're just lovely, isn't she? lady in red all of these things this person is thinking of wedding you also someone wants to catch you and have you for their own someone loves you someone wants to be loyal to to you someone appreciates you someone wants to lay all these compliments up on you at your feet and you're just like running around and <laughs> and having fun right and this person is like like don't you take me seriously? That kind of energy. Recovery. But this person wants you back. So this could be someone that somehow once had you before. They had a little time with you. 
but like it is over or you have moved on to different things and this person they want someone wants you back instincts but they have a feeling like you've really moved on and it's going to be really hard to get to you back get back a hold of you reconnect with you again because they do feel like they have lost you enlightenment someone feels like they've lost the opportunity to start a family with you to bear children with you all of these things yeah bittersweet they just felt like they lost to something they lost you to something you chose like something else is making you happy right now and in love something else is bringing balance and just in your life something else is blessing you and making you wonderful Something else is making you feel happy and grateful. Someone else may be making you like into a mother or a parent, a father, right? Someone wants to take, show you gratitude. Someone wants to like bestow gratitude, feelings of gratitude and appreciation and respect onto you. Someone just, you're like a goddess to someone or a god. For real, I hear you're increasing, even your beauty is increasing. Your beauty is increasing, your loveliness, everything about you, is, you're just multiplying and increasing. This person, they want to be a part of your blessed life, but they feel like they've been left out or something. Workaholic, they feel regretful that they were paying more attention to something other than you. Now they really want you back. They wish they could turn back the hands of time. They've been praying for you, praying for some miraculous renewal opportunity to manifest. Please, somehow, I beg, like, just one one chance, something like this, expansion, right? And soulmate, and this is them pouring through this message right now. Okay, that's how much this person, that's so determined and eager and kind of desperate. Desperate is not even a negative word right now, it's just... An expression of desperate, how desperate someone is, that they will press, they will press on into this reading, expand just for you. Their feelings are really strong, Page of Diamonds. They've been trying to get out to you, but there isn't, there's little com communication or none at all. You're not answering. This person wants to know what's going on. There's someone online, though, that wants to ring your telephone or is thinking about you. Someone from online that you met, someone new. They may be feeling like you're moving on with someone new. I feel like you've leveled up. You've healed. You've already mastered certain, certain energies and um, like healed certain pain and have a new beginning. When this person thought that you were the same, so they see you and they expect that that you look the same but you don't look the same you know you look you may physically look the same but energetically you are different so they say hey to you but you're a different kind of hey and they recognize you but they don't recognize you so this person they don't really know what to say to you workaholic okay this is a love reading someone is showing up to take you on a date take you out someone rich someone successful someone that wants a new chance judgment and a new beginning and a new start someone that wants to look in your eyes someone that wants to kneel in front of you propose to you someone that wants to someone may be pregnant someone that wants to start a new world with you someone that wants all with you this person they don't really know why they're devoting all of themselves to you they just they just know that they do or they have to it's, it's like i have to commit to my fatherly duties i don't know why i just it's something that i just have to do this is how someone is feeling to you with you for you wisdom and there's something going on with your dreams that may link back to your childhood energies the king of diamonds yeah someone wealthy someone successful and I think this person is a blessing from the Most High. This is like a gift from God. As this person, this new, rich, successful, handsome, prosperous, beautiful, lovely, abundant, prominent, rich, um, accountable person of your dreams is a handmaid by the Most High. God is like, how do you like this one? It's for true. Now, this person, they're going to be real with you. It's not going to be an easy, easy connection because this is a this is going to be another healing connection where you will be triggered into feelings of guilt and pain. But this person is a leader also. So if you learn in this connection with this person to 
to listen more, to let go, to be guided, you may have an easier, you may have an easygoing relationship. Just, just receive what you're being given in this connection, you know. But you're going to be learning. You're probably going to be crying as you break old patterns and let and like release certain boundaries and let someone be the, provide for you, be there for you, love you, tend to you, all of these things. Um, so yeah growth it's about the growth you're both going to be on another level so this relationship is going to be really important for both of you it's going to be sort of like hard work but i think i'm saying that and then it's going to be so so wonderful it's going to be so beautiful i <laughs> that same thing it's made by god because you love yourself and this person love themselves and you it's like and you love this person it's nice you're gonna get over mountains together expansion you're gonna be opening doors with this person like the, like you've never felt a love like this before recovery and this is you also unlocking love that your ancestors have had in store for ages this is you you both aren't waiting for the wine to age and then savoring in it. This is you like savoring a blessed connection, one that has been anointed, one that the ancestors have seen and witnessed and commended and go ah over. And then you make it bright. So that kind of energy where it's been blessed or aged or it's just the right time. It's ripe. It's ready. Okay. Yeah. So it's all it's a natural vibe. Thank you. Much love and I'll catch you in the next one. Beautiful. So all is well and all is within you. Hope you enjoy these messages. Like the video, share, comment, subscribe. Your support means so very much. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, bye.